Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? There's some Yankees fans out there that don't like Gary Sanchez. They believe that Gary Cole should have his own personal catcher. And the only reason why Cole needs his own catcher is because the Yankees don't have that second ace. They have to pamper their only ace. Make him feel like a king, like a god. And rightfully so, Gary Cole is amazing. But if you tuned in and saw the game today, I know a lot of people have been boycotting uh, Major League Baseball, the Yankees in general. It's funny because a couple of weeks ago, my brother-in-law said, I, I told my brother-in-law, the Yankees suck. Did you just? Are you watching the game? And he said, no, I am not. I am not going to watch the Yankees unless they fire Boom. So there's a lot of Yankees fans out there that have tuned out watching the Yankees. And before New Age Yankees fans, they're, they're only Yankees fans, by the way, because Aaron Judge hit about like 50 plus home runs. They're new fans. But before um, New Age Yankees fans say, oh, that's not a real fan. No, that's a real fan. A real fan will not support the Yankees playing like bums. A real fan will say the Yankees suck when they suck. A new age Yankees fan would say, look at the beautiful butterflies. Oh my God, the Yankees are losing. They lost five straight games. Just look at how wonderful this team is. So yes, believe it or not, there's a lot of Yankees fans that are not tuning in this season. And why is it? Oh yeah, because the Yankees have underachieved this season. There's no reason other than the fact that they don't have a real second ace on this ball club. The second reason being is that they have no leadership. So let's get back to the main point. Gary Sanchez catching Garrett Cole. And by the way, the worst conditions possible. And I had a funny tweet earlier, but I deleted it. You could just see the writings on the wall. This game was played because it was on Fox National TV. And you can see that Rob Manford wanted to make baseball appear as a tough sport. Because I see no other way why they would even play in those conditions. You know, a serious injury could have happened there, by the way. And I was hoping that it wouldn't because the Yankees are down five players due to um, COVID-19. And now uh, LaCastro went down with a torn ACL or something like that. So the Yankees are in a bad situation here. Luckily, they won that game. But speaking about, upon that game, Gary Sanchez caught Garrett Cole in the worst conditions possible, in the worst situations possible. So I'm not going to say Gary Sanchez should catch all Gary Cole games. But wow, are you guys paying attention? Gary Cole pitched an excellent game in the rain, while Gary Sanchez was catching, Gary Sanchez caught a legit Gary Cole game. So you have to give credit where it's due. I mean, these are some of the worst conditions while playing baseball. The only other badder thing that I could think about is when uh, Jabba pitched uh, with a whole bunch of little flies in his face. So again, this is a game that shouldn't have been played, but it was played and Gary Sanchez had a good game behind the plate, catching Garrett Cole. And let's not forget to mention Gary Sanchez's tie-breaking solo home run, followed by Glaber Torres. So they called uh, the game early. Again, a game that shouldn't have been played. The Yankees won. I won't consider that, I'll say, I want to consider that a game where the Yankees go, ha ha ha, we beat the Red Sox. Let's turn the corner, uh, Aaron Boone's favorite uh, quote. So here's the bad news, Yankees fans. This team overall still sucks. This team has a player in John Carlos Stanton making millions of dollars, and his nickname is about to be Big for Nothing Stanton. Because you could see it on him. Aaron Judge is going to be out for a while due to COVID-19. And who's next up to take leadership? John Cole Stanton, a guy who could slap anybody across the head and be a bully if he wanted to. Are we going to see Stanton step up and take that leadership role? I highly doubt it. 
these two past games, just take them, take them as a sample size. I truly believe when CeCe Sabanthia retired, he was the leader in that clubhouse. You could see that without CeCe Sabanthia's presence in that clubhouse, the Yankees have regressed. And speaking upon CeCe, if I had a choice, he'll be my future bench coach. The Yankees are going to be the easy out Yankees unless they make drastic changes. You remember earlier me talking about new age Yankees fans? The Yankees cater to those kinds of fans. The Yankees went two straight, three straight. Haha, <laughs> everything's all good. That is the perfect excuse for the Yankees to not make any moves. They're just hoping the Yankees win two or three straight games. Then one of these other teams that have better GMs, they go out there and trade for a player that was talked about maybe being traded to the Yankees. But since the Yankees and their new age fans are happy, they let them be taken away by one of these other teams. So here's how you fix the Yankees. And if it's not this season, next season, you fire Boone, you fire Thames, you fire all of your coaches. You go in there with a fresh start, get an old school type manager like a Tony La Russa, or maybe a younger guy like a Kevin Cash who does have that old school mentality and you start freshly new. And if the Yankees decide not to be quitters like the losers that they currently are, you go out there and get a picture like, let's say, a Max Scherzer, a Luis Castillo, or somebody that, let's say, is like a Nathan Evaldi type where if they get on a new team, you know, they have the stuff, they have the velocity. But if you fix them up just right, you can mold them into, let's say, your second ace. I'm not going to go as far as saying the second ace because the Yankees have no idea what they're doing when it comes to starting pitching. You guys have heard my rants before. The Achilles heel of the Yankees is starting pitching. The only reason why they got Garrett Cole was because Yankees fans were hounding how, and they had to just push that button. So again, the Yankees just need a second ace. They need lefty bats. I want to trade for uh, Gallo, by the way. I know a lot of Yankees fans are fans of his, but um, he's a strikeout machine. And you're really going to hate that guy once he comes up in a clutch situation and he just strikes out. I would trade for more contact hitters. I would seriously hit up the Braves, see what they have to offer. I would trade for a Johan Carmargo, who I have talked about numerous times on this channel. The Braves are underutilizing him. He's a switch hitter who would just dominate in Yankee Stadium. We have seen it with Greg Allen, out of all names, hitting... Uh, lefty, he's a switch hitter as well, but has had uh, great cunts uh, batting lefty in Yankee Stadium thus far. I would also trade Voint, and th this is going to trigger a lot of Yankees fans. I would also trade Gio as his stock is just high. People like to bash Torres, but if you have uh, researched uh, Glaber Torres' past, every level that he has played on, he has been successful. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen uh, this video of his father showing uh, Glaber Torres' accolades. This guy has a whole bunch of medals. This guy has succeeded in every level that he has played on. So I know for a fact, even if he's slumping, uh, Glaber Torres long term is going to be great for the New York Yankees. And the only reason why he's not focused is because of the manager of the Yankees, Aaron Boone. The Yankees just need a hardcore personality to manage the Yankees. Marcus Thames, I believe he needs to be out of here. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the current pitching coach as well. But then again, these coaches have great job security as they're just taking orders from the top. So long story put short, this is my fix. Uh, get in second ace. Get a legit superstar offensively. And get... A utility man like uh, Johan Carmago, who again is a player that a lot of teams are scouting. They see that the Braves keep sending him to a uh, AAA, and whoever gets that guy, and let's say if they're in contention for the playoffs, that is going to be a good addition to their ball club. So let's see, are the Yankees quitters, or are they going to pull 
a 2019 uh, Washington Nationals type deal where the Nationals just sucked uh, before the trade deadline and they s turned it around and won the World Series. So then again, Yankees, you guys have the pieces in the minor leagues. We have passed numerous seasons where you're holding on to these prospects. And please don't repeat the same cycle. If there's, let's say, a superstar out there that is guaranteed or almost guaranteed to help you win a World Series, pull the trigger. Stop being little sissies and go out there and be the New York Yankees. So, Yankees fans, that is it. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. <laughs> Thank you.